Octa's workflows and integration network of over 7,000 applications, it's easy to automate the provisioning and deprovisioning of users to applications as they are on and off boarded. This helps to ensure users have the accesses they need on day one and their accesses are removed as they leave. But we know the real world isn't as cut and dry. Active users might have licenses to applications they don't actually need or use. These dormant or inactive accounts not only pose a security risk, but can cause enterprises quite a bit of money in licensing fees. In this demonstration, we'll see how we can leverage capabilities within Okta Identity Governance to identify inactive users, review those users' accesses, and remediate unnecessary access. We'll use an Okta workflow template to discover these inactive accounts, and we'll use an access certification campaign to have these inactive users reviewed and possibly revoked. Before we get started, we'll need to ensure the Okta Workflows OAuth application has been granted the scopes required for our workflows. For this, we'll navigate to Applications, Applications. We'll select Workflows OAuth. Then we'll click on the Okta API Scopes tab. We'll want to make sure the following scopes have been granted. Okta Apps Read, Okta Governance Access Certifications Read, Okta Groups Manage, Okta Logs Read, and Okta Users Read. We can see many of these have already been granted by default. So we'll just need to grant a couple more. So here we'll grant Okta Governance Access Certification Read and Okta Logs Read. Now that we have the scopes granted, we can go ahead and add the workflow template. For this, we'll navigate to Workflow, Workflows Console, and we'll select Templates. Here we can just search on Inactive, and then we'll select the Discover Inactive Application Users template. Now I just need to click the Add Template button. Now our workflows have been imported into our organization. We can see all of them are disabled. We'll just need to do a few things before we can enable these and run these. And that's to go into each flow and make sure that any connector is connected to the applications. So for Okta, we could use the information on the Okta Workflows OAuth app to make a connection. For the list users and assign app, we want to make sure that we select enter application ID here. Hit save. And our app ID is provided here. Now we can save this flow and move on to the others. Since we've already created our Okta connection, we can just select that and save. Again, for the list groups on application, we'll just want to update configuration to enter application ID. Drag this over from our helper flow card and save. And for our last flow, we also have a connector to Slack. This can be changed out if you're using a different collaboration tool or if you'd like to send a message by some other means like email. Here, I'm going to select my Slack connection. Here you want to choose your channel. This will be used to send notifications for users that are group assigned to the application since they won't be automatically revoked. Now that our connectors have been updated, we just need to enter a couple pieces of information before we can make use of these workflows. In the discover and re review inactive users flow, we'll want to enter the application name for which we want to find inactive users. In this case, we're going to run this against the application zero. For the inactive group, this could be either a group that we created ahead of time, or if it doesn't exist, the workflow will create it for us. So we'll create a group here called inactive zero users. We'll go ahead and save this. The other flow we need to update is the last flow, detect group assigned revocation. And here, there's two fields we need to fill out. One is our Okta org. So this is the short name of your org. So if your Okta org's URL is at code.octapreview.com. At code would go here. And then in this field, octapreview.com. And we'll go ahead and save this. Now that we have the workflows imported, we have the connectors connected, and we have the fields updated, we can go ahead and enable all of our flows. So we can just toggle the on off for each one. And at this point, we could either manually run the flows or we could schedule these. Typically, you're going to want to schedule the flows, and then that way they can automatically run on a predetermined basis. This could be aligned with a recurring access certification campaign where the flows would run, and then after some period of time, the certifications would run. 
To manually run this, you can come into the Discover and Review and Active Users flow and click Run. This is a good test to make sure that all your connectors are connected and that the flows are working as expected in your environment. Now that the flow is completed, let's check to make sure that the users were added to our group. Here, if we go to Directory Groups, you should see we had our group created for us by our workflow. And in there, any users that have not logged in to the Zero application in 90 days or more have been added to this group. Of course, we don't want to stop with simply adding users to a group. So next, we'll create a recurring certification campaign in Okta Identity Governance. So to create the campaign, we'll go to Identity Governance, Access Certifications. And here, we'll create a campaign. We'll do a resource campaign. And we'll call this Inactive Zero Users. This will just be for the application we found the Inactive Users for. We can make this recurring, so have it repeat every three months on the 19th day of the month. Next, we're going to do Applications, and we'll select our Zero application. Specify a user scope. In this case, we just want users that are a member of that Inactive Zero group that we created. So in here, we'll just Enter the group name here. So user is a member of a group with the profile name of inactive zero users. Click next. We'll have the user's manager be the reviewer and a fallback reviewer of the, the admin here. And then for the revoke access decision, we'll remove the user's access here. Go ahead and schedule the campaign. And now this will run every 90 days. In order to align with this campaign, we'll go back to our workflow and then our initial workflow, Discover and Review and Active Users, will set the schedule card to align with our certification campaign. To do that, we'll click on the little clock icon here. And we'll set this to run every three months, maybe the day before. So this will be on the 18th instead of the 19th, which is our certification campaign. This way, our workflows have time to discover any inactive users, add them to the inactive group, and that group will be populated with the users and ready for the certification campaign to run. We'll click Save and Save on the flow. And now every three months on the 18th, the workflows will run, users will be populated into the group, and the certification campaign will kick off on the next day. So let's see what the certification campaign does. We'll manually launch it right now. See it's running here found our three users that were in that group. Now let's see what happens when we revoke a couple accesses. This I'll log in as our certification reviewer. And I'll revoke a couple users. One, I'll revoke John Sampson, who was assigned directly to the application. And Samantha Stockton, who was assigned the application via group membership. For individually assigned users, their access will automatically be removed via Okta Lifecycle Management. But for group assigned users, a Slack notification will be sent for further review of the user and or the group to see if the user should be removed from the group or if the group should no longer be assigned to the application. So here we see an example of a notification in Slack where we have information on the user, the application, the reviewer, any groups that assign the user to the application, the decision, revoke, the reason, and any other details. There's also some quick buttons be able to review the user with a click of a button or review the application or groups. So let's recap. We automated the discovery of inactive app users through Okta workflows, saving ourselves from manual reviews in the downstream application. We established recurring access reviews by informed stakeholders to make sure that the right access decisions are made, and we deprovisioned access to remove unnecessary access, delivering a clearer picture of the number of licenses the business needs. Next, you can take the additional step of setting up access requests for each of the applications, enabling an organization's workforce to easily request ad hoc accesses moving forward.